After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Been on the department roughly 10 years. Been assigned to Central Booking Bureau as a sergeant. I've been on the CERT team for roughly a year. CERT team is in charge of handling any special operations in the jail. We deal with riot situations, any type of high risk transports. We go handle any situation we're given. We got a code five male coming in. See what the problem is and see if we can walk him in. Try not to use a chair if we don't have to. How are you doing? How am I doing? Yep. Uh, I could be better. I, um, yeah, I could be better. You're only here for a bench warrant. My guys pull you out of the car. Can you're going to cooperate just, with them? What am I going to do? Try to get myself out of here? Or I'm some just asking. I got, that's crazy. why I'm talking yeah. to you and clearing it with you. What am I saying? That was so uncalled for. Like. All right, we'll talk about it inside, all right? We'll walk in. Sit down, close your mouth, put your face on the ground, rub it on the pavement, shred your face in the ground, pound it. Relax. You weren't there. Exactly. Where you, uh, no. you weren't. I wish I had a lawyer. Like, Walk straight down there and you talk to the nurse. You guys be cooked. Down there and talk to the nurse. Done. You'd be so done. You guys. Uh, All the way down. We'll talk to the Are you cut, bleeding, injuries, open wounds? Probably. I probably have head trauma. Being slammed to the ground. I need intensive care. You have any alcohol tonight? Lots of it. You're taking a four. I think four is open, so. Okay, come on back here, sir. What am I going to do? You're going to go into a cell over Order here? Something I need. Speeding ticket. I'm just going to let you go in here and sober up a little bit. Speeding ticket. Yeah. Come on. Help, dude. We're going to take the chain. Just listen to what my guys are telling you. Jesus. Freaking violating me, dude. I hate punks. Look at the wall. If I got to tell you again, you're going to the floor. You don't get to tell me what I get to look at, all right? OK. We do. Please don't express your authority too much for yourself. OK, mister. So you're going to listen to everything they're telling you to do. If you decide, put them back in cuffs. Put them in cuffs. Get on the ground now. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Get onto your knees and cross your feet. So Go to the ground. There you go. I feel good. Go ahead and go. All right. Did you slam your own head into the wall? Yeah, top. You're so tough. We didn't hurt you, sir. You tried to hurt yourself. I'm not hurting myself. I'm recollecting something in my own mind. By right? slamming your head into the wall? Yes. Yeah. That means slamming, dude. Yeah. Control 1094, 1 to 2C male side from booking. Put him right in the corner. Well, they got no yeah. rooms. Is that what they said? Guys, super right. Right. Wow. We're going to go ahead and uh, place you in the restraint chair since you wanted to bang your head off of the wall because uh, we can't have you doing that. So, Whatever yeah, makes you feel. Um, <laughs> Really. We took him to a side cell. As soon as we took the handcuffs off him, he decided to have, smack his head against the wall, so we placed him on the ground, put him in cuffs. Brought him back out here and put him in the chair. So chokes me out. He's going to sit over here for a pull down period. Are you and, uh, listening we'll to this? They choked me out to where I can't breathe. Slam me on the ground. It's so important to you if you manhandle somebody, isn't it? What does have to do with that, Mr. Mm -hmm. trying to get you out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just trying to get Shut you to up. calm down so we can get you through the process so we can get you Shut out up. today. So get me through then there. Well, according to you, to you according to you, according to your mental state, your ego, in jail is I'm not, that not tough. cooperating It's pretty much just a waiting you. game. Ah. Sit down, wait for your name to be You're called. You're sick. I don't have to be quiet to be out right. But acting like that, how's it working out for you right now? Not very good. Exactly. As soon as you calm down, sir, I'll come back and talk. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. I paid the goddamn fine. It's a speeding ticket. You got a clopper with so. And then what? I mean, I get stuck in the chair? Yeah, we'll put it in the chair, right? Look at him go. All right, go ahead and stand up. Oh. 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 Oh.
He's semi cooperative. Took his ring. He's in a side cell now. I swear to God, you're all gonna burn now. I can't feel my hand. Uh huh. They still can't feel my hand. Okay, just just need to relax. The chair is not a comfortable place to be, but you're out now. I thought maybe that me and you could probably reason with each other, but we can. I have a speeding ticket. Okay. You have a bench warrant for a speeding I ticket. You have a bench warrant for a speeding ticket. What does that mean? It means you failed to comply with some court order related to a speeding ticket that you got. I paid. Money. Well, obviously there was more to it. I don't know what the details are. You're a lot calmer now, which is good to see. That is horse. You are full of. Oh my. But of the 125 people that we have brought into custody tonight, you are the only one that had to be put in a restraint chair. We cannot release you when you're that worked up. So hopefully you're on the road to calming down, to mellowing out. I'm saying that you will ever be looking at your own self in the mirror every day. Every day. Uh, it's like I told him, out of the 125 people that we have brought into custody tonight, he was the only one that had to be placed in the chair. So clearly, he was uh, not behaving appropriately. I've been working for the Sheriff's Department here for 10 years. Prior to that, I was in the Marine Corps and the Navy Seabees. I really joined because I thought that I could make a difference here with the Sheriff's Department. Hopefully, I can convince somebody not to come back to jail. Okay. Hey, he's trying to molest my ass. He grabbed my balls like four yeah. times. What do you got for us tonight? Giving false name, forgery, littering. He was standing outside of a convenience store. You're a liar. And uh, a warrant out of Manatee County. Hey, what about the dead hunter and what? Cadillac attack at the harbor. What are you going to do about that? One thing at a time. You're not worried about that, are you? Stand on up. Turn around. This the wall there. Three feet apart. I'm glad you didn't grab my balls like he did. Nope. The hands down. There's no need for grabbing my balls like he did. You know, that's gay. Making a left. Had seen on the gray stool. Yeah, a list of charges. What happened out there? Oh, there look. This oh, guy no, grabbed my balls. It's just weird. Okay. He grabbed your balls. You Probably mean during the pat down when he was patting you no, down? No, more than that. Before he patted me. Well, before and after. He so, grabbed your balls before, and then he grabbed your balls after. After, yes. OK, well, but what about the charges? Because we got a list of charges here. We got forgery, giving false name, littering, and a warrant. That's all false. It's all false. What about the warrant? Is that false, too? Uh, the warrant might be somewhat true. What about the forgery? Did you sign somebody else's name to the ticket? No, I signed my name. What, what did you sign did you it sign? as? I signed my name. What is your name? Well, look up my name. I know what your name is. I don't know. I don't, you look it up. That's what I signed. Is that right? Yeah. Stand up. I got to do a second pad down. Oh, you want to grab me again? Well, I don't want to grab you. I want to make yeah, sure you don't yeah, got any weapons right, or anything right. like that. He hasn't searched it all yet, yes, so he can't yes. say again. Oh, OK. <laughs> I know, I know. It's the highlight of your you're day. Gay. I know you're all gay. Yeah. Santa Santa County is the gayest county. I mean, you're here. Yeah, I know. But you're, you? you're cute. Yeah. yeah, you're cute. Oh, oh she's a cutie? Yes. OK, so have a seat so right bad. there for me. That's like the third or fourth time. Well, then you're you're having a good run of luck tonight. Oh, yeah, it must be nice. OK. Go ahead and stand up. Go with Deputy Johnson. <laughs> so why'd you pull him over? I saw this guy standing out in front of the gas station, like on his cell phone, acting all shady. So I, I sat and watched him for a little bit, and he's throwing stuff out of his pockets on the ground. So I see a car pull up, and I'm thinking, you know, there's going to be a drug transaction go on. So. The car picks him up and leaves, so I stop him on the littering charge and he gives us his name, doesn't come back to anything. I continue checking his real name. It shows he has a warrant under this name, Randolph, which is his real name. Arrest him on the warrant, charge him for forgery for signing the ticket under a different name. He cussed me out on the way down to jail, saying he's going to kill my family, everything like that. So he's one of those guys. Yeah, he did strike me as a member of Mensa. Actually, go ahead and turn left. Go to left, see? 
Your other left, back over this way. Back over there, have a seat on that stool. Premier, please, Mr. 194. You're going to come see me when I'm in here? Am I going to come see yes, you when yes, you're in here? Yes. No, I don't really think so. I'm going to see you when you're down here, but that's about it. Okay. And if you want to continue to make inappropriate comments, we can just put you in holding. What is okay. my name, Kirby? Yeah. I think you know what I'm talking about. What she's saying in a polite term is, we're not playing love connection here, yeah, okay? I'm so not, you, I'm not, not stop, yeah, stop, right. stop, stop. Definitely not. Okay, right. you need to zip your lip potato chip on that one because we're done. You can go over there. Go Stand up, it. let's go. Hi. Huh? You're pathetic. This hey. county's a joke. Hey. All right. Don't be swearing. I won't, sir. Just keep your mouth shut, and yes, you'll get through the process. Yes, sir. I'm serious. I know you, and you know me, right? I know. Yes, sir. So don't yes, swear. Sir. All right, come over here. Step over here. Yes. OK, I'm going to put you in a holding cell until you can sober up, until you can be cooperative. I'm sober. Uh, I doubt that, sir. I can smell the odor of alcohol coming off of you. That's okay? not alcohol. We're done. That's your wife. Outstanding. Oh, my wife. Yeah. Awesome. That's, that's, that's very wife. good. Thank you. Come on. I put my hand. Put him at six. I told you to cooperate, but you didn't. I wasn't cooperating. You just kind of leave up. Come on. You're all up. I know. I know. Builds character. He's gonna be placed in here until he gets sober up and be cooperative. We got all the time in the world, sir. So just behave yourself. Sit down. Maybe take a nap. It'll help you out. Not what your wife said. You can see her in the morning. She'll be on the B squad. I already saw her, and I'm tired of this bitch. Let's check and see how he's doing. Good to go. Hey, your charges are in. Thank you. There's your three charges. Yeah. You gave him the wrong ID, passed the forged instrument, and you had a municipal ordinance for littering. All right, the other thing is you were rude to the female deputy by saying what you said to her. Oh, okay. Remember I'm that? Kidding with that. Well, okay. we're in a pretty serious place, right. so you got to watch what you say. Right. And this deputy here, you might owe him an apology. I think you did. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And that's it, not sorry. It's Deputy Sampi. Sorry, Deputy. We've met each other before. So when I'm trying to fingerprint you so you can get out of jail, I really don't appreciate or expect comments like you said to me. Yes, yes. So we'll work on that, all right? We'll be back. Right. You can rest. All right, sorry. All right, thank you. We could probably get him out here shortly. I, I think the alcohol got the best of him in this case. Just yeah. one of those guys that requires a little extra loving. Whenever we pat somebody down, whenever we're moving around somebody, we want to be in a position of advantage so that whatever happens, whether they're compliant or they're non-compliant, uh, we're ready pretty much for anything. Sometimes people come in the door and they're very combative. Some people will comply and then all of a sudden we'll be combative. So you just try to always try to be in a position of advantage. Anything on you're going to stick me, poke me, or make me bleed? No, sir, man. Excellent. I just got out of jail the other night. Really? Yeah, for what? menacing, like, I'm behaving myself. I didn't touch these stupid kids. And then, like, five of their friends show up when they weren't even there and said I did it. I'm the one with the bloody whip. None of them have a mark on them. Not one of those kids had a mark. And for some reason, I have assault. Have you been drinking today? Yeah, a little bit, but not recently. It's just this, like, I woke up at 6 this morning and had a pint. I haven't been drinking since then. Those are all harmonicas. I'm a very good harpist. Harpist? Harmonicist. Harmonicist. We call those blues harps. I love those things. They make the most beautiful music. I've just never heard it called a harp before. It's being charged with assault, and I never assaulted anybody, so this is great. Okay. I'm prepared to be sued when I get out. When I take the handcuffs off, your hands need to be on the counter. Yes, sir, I understand. Excellent. All right. Then this officer already said he would write down that there was no abrasions or marks on these kids' faces and that I was the only one with a bloody anything. 
That my lip was bloody, their faces were not. If I assaulted them, obviously, as you can tell from my knuckles, that if I hit somebody, they would be hurt. So here, help me help me go through this. Can I find them for you real quick? Sure. Um, that's my dead brother's picture. I really need this. OK, well, let's that's keep that safe in your property. And it's Don't getting it sewed onto one of my pieces. OK. It's my dead brother. Yeah. I need that. I definitely need that. I, I need all these numbers. These okay. are all my friends in various states. OK. You're going to have a seat over here in the back two rows. Walk this way, guys. What brought him to jail today? He was at uh, Pioneer Square with his other friend. They were bothering people walking by, uh, trying to bum a cigarette. There was a couple kids skateboarding. Uh, they kicked the skateboard out from one of them. And then when the kid uh, got upset, they grabbed him by the throat and pushed him up against the wall. Then another guy walking by saw it, tried to intervene, and he got punched in the back by uh, Jesse also. So got two counts of harassment, strangulation, and disorderly conduct. Usually I'm arrested for things I do do, like drinking in public, smoking marijuana, or like beating people up. But like that's when I actually beat people up and they have evidence against me for that. Right. Like I remember chasing one dude around the corner. Because right. he told me he had a gun. He said he'd shoot me. I was like, really pull it and shoot me, dude, because I don't give a he don't know where I'm from. Philadelphia. I ain't worried about being shot. You gotta have a gun to shoot me before I get to you. That's my point of view on it. Just mad because I didn't even touch these people. Still gotta take it to court, but there's the chance that I have to stay in here all the way until I go to court, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have a dog, I have a fiance out there. Got things to take care of, man. I mean, all right, Mr. Grab your stuff. All right, man, thank you. You're welcome. You have a beautiful night, you sir. Too. Thank you for doing your job. I understand that's all you're doing. More than likely, he'll get out of jail tonight, and they'll have a court date for Monday, so he'll come back to court on Monday, hopefully. But he's also a transient, which are also known to not show up to court, and then we'll put a warrant out for his arrest. I've worked here in the jail for 14 years. I see that really anybody can come to jail. We see people that are homeless and transient that we see a lot of. Then there's people that come in for the first time maybe for a DUI, for domestic violence. Most people, they come in and they're cooperative, especially people that have been here before, and they kind of know where to go, and that makes it a little bit easier, actually. Right, you gotta take your shirt off just real briefly, and then I'll give it back. And is that your husband? What? No, you know my guy? husband's outside he... walking with the baby waiting for me to get released okay, because so he's they not said here. it shouldn't be long. I've never been arrested before. Rest your hands right here. Do you know what you came in for today? Shoplifting. Oh. I shoplifted diapers for my son. You know that there are uh, some social services out there, right? Yeah, we've tried the resources and we just didn't, nothing could help us right at this time because we've used them all up when we first got here for motels and diapers and everything else, so. so you were saying in New York it's a little harder to get social services, is that it's right? It's harder to get everything up there. There was 1450. I don't know if it's all there. Enough for diapers? Yeah. yeah. Step over this way and for now just have a seat right up in front, please. Okay. She said Thanks. she was taking diapers. Is that what she was actually taking? taking? Yeah, it, well, there was like diapers and some other grocery stuff, so. Oh, OK. They don't feed you here, do they? Unfortunately, you missed that 6 o'clock. I ain't take my meds, I ain't eat. So what's the process after this? Well, because of the nature of your charges, I think it was like a theft three. It's like stealing bubble gum. Okay. They're gonna let you go unless somebody else wants you somewhere else. No, no, nobody else wants me. My son, husband, no. walking around outside now, waiting on me. I don't want them outside. Fourteen-month-year-old baby. I'm about to eat, cuss him out when I get home. Got my baby out there from walking, waiting for me. Like you, Bryson. Thank nice. you. Halfway home. Yeah, it's another four hours. So they said. able to get a hold of your husband at all? Yeah, yeah. I told him to oh, take good. the baby home because it's raining. It's too cold for him to stay out and wait for me. And who knows how long this is going to take. But you guys do have a place to stay. Yeah, right? yeah. We'll, we'll be all right, friend. I are going to stay with friends tonight. So. OK, good. Well, yeah. it's good you got a chance to get a hold of him. Yeah, yeah. I told him, yeah. On. I told him it'll be a little while. I just told him I didn't want him outside with the baby because it's too cold. And late. And late, but very late. Right. I mean, we've slept outside before, but I just don't want him out there now. It's too wet. Yeah. 
They gave me a list of places that help with diapers and awesome. stuff. So awesome. Some resources I'm really for happy. you. Yeah. Good. That's, yeah, that's good I'm really news. happy about it. So a bunch of them. So. Well, I hope we don't see you again. Yeah. Oh, no, you won't. Oh. I'm not worried about that. No, I'm not a jail person. I don't. I hate it. I hate that I'm waiting here this long. So right. I'm just ready to get out of here and go home to my family. Good. Well, good luck in Portland. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Good luck. All thank right. you. Sure, thank take you. care. Free! Oh, I couldn't take it anymore. I'm gonna go home and cuddle with my kid. You seem excited. I am, Very man. Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm so ready to go, man. I'm not gonna steal no more diapers. They gave me a whole list of resources. Kid, and I was like, hey, if I'm gonna steal, I'm gonna steal something that's righteous for my kid, man. It wasn't like I'm stealing for drugs or nothing like that. I'm stealing diapers for my baby, awesome. man. Awesome. Diapers, wipes, and I had smoothies in the bag. That's the only thing that had me on was kids' food, man. Kids gotta eat. Well, she came in tonight on F2 charge. She was really cooperative. She went through the process. They gave her a list of resources where she could go get some diapers and get some baby supplies, and hopefully she won't have to try to steal them and get in trouble anymore. A lot of times when people come into jail, they are very upset with the office. Sometimes they'll get physical. If they get physical, we have to throw them in isolation. We throw them in isolation, it stops the clock basically on them. A lot of times, due to their own behavior, can cause them to be in jail a lot longer than what they would be if they just went with the program. Take my hands. Hey, you turn around and face the counter. Hey, this is going to go to a real bet. This is going to go to a real bet. I don't give a up, man. Get the out of me. You haven't been searched yet. I don't care. You over to this counter. You're yes. gonna walk on your own accord, or it's gonna be a bad day for you. I don't give a Stand up. Get up on your feet. Stand up. You like my ass? Hope you like my ass. This did not have to go this direction. You understand that, right? <laughs> I gave you the opportunity to conduct yourself like a gentleman. You do. What is he brought in on today? What is he here for? He careened his car off of Mount Tabor. Oh, whole mountain? Uh, just a little bit of it. Uh, sorry. It really wasn't that sure far. It was like just a little bit over the curb. He was proving uh, to his friends that he had it. balls. Well, there's no friends here for you to have to show off with right now, so there's really nothing yeah. for you to prove right now. My <laughs> <laughs> Rodrigo, you were being so friendly. You. We're going to have bitch. shirt off. Are you going to be combative with these handcuffs? Come on. I'm going to matter what. Cut, cut the sweatshirt off. All right, get Perfect. the scissors. Sleeves. Get the gun. I can see it. Didn't even have to go this direction with this, man. Turn your head the other way. You can suck my. Don't grab my finger. I ain't grabbing. Stand up. Walk like a grown-up. Got it. Got it. Okay, you're gonna need to back up to the door and put your hands to the food board. Pull your hands through. So just so you and I are clear, as long as you're in this cell and we don't have your fingerprints and we don't have your mug shots, this is dead time. This doesn't go toward you going home. So until you modify your behavior, you, you stay there. This is not the place for you to try and beat your chest and, and, and have all that bravado going on. It's not designed for you to win that way. You win by acting like an adult. So yeah. when he pulled away from you, I was like, OK, it's not just yeah, that he needs to go to the no. bathroom. Did he give you any problems? Um, no. I mean, he was getting a little lippy on the way down here. He was actually really cooperative at the scene. We kept him out of handcuffs for quite a while until the traffic officer came and you know, did HD on, a, on his eyes and decided to arrest him. And it's pretty cooperative, transporting to the air, and he blew. He took a breath test. He blew one nine. He said he was driving. He wasn't drinking. The legal limit's 0.08. That's crazy. His number doubled the legal limit without drinking. The drive down here, he started to get a little lippy, and he was listening to my radio, the police radio, and he started responding to there was some description of a Hispanic uh, male in an unrelated uh, call. So he's like, ah, oh, Hispanic male, seven, that's what six, all you look for, and started getting eight. agitated. And once he got in here, I guess he yeah. wanted to put on it's the not gonna, It's not going to be a good night for him. I can tell that already. <laughs> Are 
We're gonna check on Rodrigo, he's an ISO number one. Became uh, disrespectful, somewhat combative with the sergeant and the other guys on swing shift. We're gonna see if he's sobered up a little. Willing to go with the program and come on out. Hi, I'm Deputy Heener. So here's your charge, it's uh, driving under the influence. You also got a reckless driving with it, which generally they go hand in hand because you had to do something to get the police officer's attention. Remember your demeanor, how you were acting when you came in? When you came to jail? OK, well, I can kind of enlighten you on what happened. When you came in, you were, you do know what happened? OK, what I'd like to do is bring you out, let you sit out with the other people, watch some TV. I need to know if you're willing to cooperate. Okay. All right, come on out. I'd like for you to walk straight up to that counter right there on the end slip. They uh, come in drunk, sit in the cell, sober up, sleep it off, get really cold. It's amazing what three hours in one of those cold cells will do to somebody that is under the influence and unruly. He came out a whole nother man, completely different than what he did on swing shift. years ago, I was in construction, and I had a friend that worked here. They're transitioning from uh, the old Metro Jail to this new facility, and, and there was a, a big push on hiring. And so I made the jump and uh, got hired on and went through the academy, and it was a great experience, and I've loved it ever since. What did you bring Petrolina in for tonight? Uh, she was apprehended after she was caught shoplifting with uh, her little sister and her cousins, who she was using as lookouts. She gave a false date of birth. She presented herself as a minor. She was 19, so I confronted her about the issue, and she took off out of, outside of the, the doors. I apprehended her after that, so there was a shoplifting charge, false information to a police officer contributing to the delinquency of the minor for her cousins and then resisting arrest for trying to escape custody. Shake a booty. Hey, I need you to settle down, OK? E drugs, guns, knives, needles? No, ma'am, I gave him my knife. OK. Oh, yeah. Strip you search. been drinking today? Oh, yeah, never. No. Woo. No, this is just me. I make every situation the best. Okay, you need well, at least you today? don't make excuses no. for yourself. Woo. Shake your booty. Okay, I need you to settle Sorry. down. Listen Sorry. to me. Look. Sorry. Settle down. Yes, ma'am. We're going to do a professional search. Go for it. Okay, no. do you have anything hiding up the crotch or widen your steps? No, ma'am. Widen your steps. Nothing hiding up the crotch. Never heard that one before. Well, we've been to jail before. Yeah. Huh. Did you steal this stuff? No, sir. No. I bought that stuff. All right. The stuff I stole stayed at the store. Oh, yeah, that feels so good to be free. Okay, keep facing the map. Five. Can't take that stuff. How much alcohol did you drink today? None. This is just None. how you always right. act? This is me. Woo, woo. Sex is personal. Grab your stuff. Time. And let's relax, okay? Relax. Okay, right in here. Aww. The problem that we've got with uh, Petrolina right now is that she's not able to calm down enough to be able to be walked through the booking process in a manner that wouldn't cause a disturbance with other prisoners. We've got to see her demonstrate that behavior before we're going to let her out. to do uh, nurse checks on Petrolina, see if she's sobered up a little bit and if she's if her behavior's changed enough to where we could actually bring her out. But it appears that she's still kind of dancing and still acting pretty. Uh, clean, so. Can I let the nurse check your vitals? Of course. Okay, put you back against the frame. Have what a night. You guys will get me the hell out of here. Gotta stop dancing around. Man, that's just me. I'm sorry if you hate your job, but I just love my life. I love my life. I'm just a crazy-ass person, all right? You're never going to meet another me, all right? 
gosh, we're so happy that I'm here. I think, yeah, gorgeous, happy as hell. Life's just too crazy. Shake your boots. Hey, you really need to stand still so the next one can get See, look, that's the guy that's so mean to me, man. He just wants me to be sad. Oh, serious. <laughs> Are you always this way? I'm this always way? this way. I'm not even drunk. Give me a breathalyzer. That's what I want right now. A breathalyzer and a drug test. So I can tell you guys that I'm nowhere close to intoxicated. I got two kids. Can you finish it up? They keep me busy enough. What were you doing tonight? Shoplifting. That was not a good idea. Oh, I know that now. Yeah, you're too happy. You can't creep and... I've only been in, I in Utah for three days. Not no right. drugs, not no okay. alcohol, please. Just let me out. Step back in there. Oh, you see. Going I'm going okay. okay, hey, Petrolina, the thing is, is you've got to show us you can be calm. If you're acting still, <gasps> just calm down. I can calm down when you guys put me in a room like this. You know what, what makes me crazy, 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 just like is, that. The is, is, as long as you act like that, you're going to be in there. <laughs> Okay. If you keep back like this, you're gonna keep sitting in here. Fine. I'm gonna myself to sleep. Will that get me out of here? Okay. I'm in here by myself. Okay. Let, let me explain this to you. You demonstrate to us that you can act that way, then I have no problem pulling you out, okay? Her medical results, her vitals were a little bit too high, still associated with the alcohol that's wearing out of her system. As she sobers up, it's her choice, really, when she comes out. As long as she can demonstrate a level of cooperation, we'll get her out and we'll get her booked through and we won't have any more problems with her. jail tonight uh because i got caught with my homeboy tagging no paint, no paint up something at street okay you know but you've been here before yeah before when i was drunk you've been drinking tonight hell yeah bro you know look with courage so you go out there tagging yeah i'm stupid like that when i get drunk you know yeah do some crazy stuff like so net that homie all right what's your first name levi that's your real first name yeah okay. levi all right. Jack it on right here my name's in the bible it is, really. You know, the Leviticus and <laughs> Levi. You go to church? Yeah. Festa. Come on, the mother. Take your earrings off. Show. <laughs> Shut the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love being white and Mexican, you know? Chicano. <laughs> Speak both languages. <laughs> like. <laughs> Show. I got you, Levi. This is my homeboy right here. This is my homeboy cop. Even though my brother's a cop, it's like, whatever, homie. Okay, not yet. Because, no, my brother's a cop. He's going to get me out of here like this. Right, Levi, go and take your uh, Go and take the shirt off right here. Take the shirt. street right here. Shoot. Okay, yeah. go and grab the counter. Walk your feet back towards me, the edge of the counter. There you go. Spread your feet wide. All right. Spread your, spread your feet wide. They're very wide, fool. You go wider than that. Come on. Dude. The there you go. You want me to no, 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 not that far. Right there, there you go, right there, hold that. <laughs> dude, dude, how far do you have to go? Listen, listen to this guy. Do you think I'm like a about? dumbass or something? Okay. Not listen. stupid. Look at I got a tattoo right hey, now on the counter. Hey, hey. Keep your hand on the counter. Listen. You guys, I act like you guys are like the government. Dude, I'm not no right leg up. Right leg up. Leg up. Right leg up. Bend your knee. You guys act like it's some CSI. Lift your leg up. Done. He's all done. Let's all go. right, then. I told you guys. Right behind you. You guys act like you guys are hardcore or something. No, I just don't want to listen to your mouth anymore. Well, stop being a suspicious, bro. I'm not going to cheat you guys. The door. See you in a few hours. All right, then. All right. Hang up. Throwing gang signs. Hey, officer. Yes. What we'll brought you in contact with this uh, guy tonight? Uh, he was spraying, spraying 18th Street graffiti all over North Portland. Nice. Yeah, that's what he told me also. Yeah. Nice. A little bit, a little, little liquid courage? I, I believe so. He said just a little bit. He's turning 21 at the end of the month, so oh, okay. it's okay. Celebrating early. Yeah.
as soon as you sober up, we'll get you through the process, all right? No, I'm sober, dude. Okay, you're pretty you're pretty intoxicated. Today. No, I'm not. I swear. I okay. swear I'm not sober. Okay. I'm like, I'm, I'm good. All right, well, s later on, we'll try to get you through the process, okay? Uh, the process, uh, can I just go, like, over there and make a the phone Not right now. Right now, you got to sit in this room until... I know, but I rather prefer just to chill out over there because... This is a small room, and I got anxiety really bad. Well, you're kind of you're kind of a wild man up here in the front, so we got to make sure you're gonna calm down before I, you I, take I, you out. I'm, I'm chill out, dude. Okay. I swear. I we'll keep not. checking on you when we feel like we're comfortable with letting you out of that cell. We'll take you out of the cell. I am starting to cry. Got some anxiety problems. He was uh, grandstanding up here, showing all his gang signs, and then now he's in a cell crying. Yeah. That's complete reversal. Yeah, that was the way cool. he was so. I have to try to get him out here pretty soon and see if he'll cooperate. Go ahead and put your stuff on. We wouldn't have put you in there in the first place, man. You just can't. No, bro. You can't I just have bad anxiety. What's that? I have bad anxiety, bro. I can't. I can tell. I'm so sorry, bro. For both. It's a good reason to stay out of jail, because if you stay in jail, that's they put you in as a little room like that. I'm so sorry. So sorry. Just have a seat right there till I'm ready for you. All right. Sorry. He was trying to be really macho and act tough. Then after about 15 minutes, he kind of changed his tune and he started kind of begging us to take him out. So I, I, I kind of felt sorry for him and he assured me that he wouldn't cause us any more problems. He came in for some graffiti charges, so I think the bail is like 2,500. He's going to get recaught. He's going to get out probably in a couple hours. I've been on the department 14 years now. I've been a sergeant almost eight years. Been down here in booking and pretty much any given night. We can go from a nice calm night with no major problems and then at any minute it can explode, start getting tons of arrestees coming in. Don't want anything to get out of control. The main thing is to keep anybody from getting hurt, whether it's ourselves or inmates. Oh, no, 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 excuse me. Okay, you got a camera on my face, okay. Thank you all. You know what, I want to be an actor. I swear to God, I love you. Swear to God, I did nothing wrong. Listen. Do you have any allergies to medication? Excuse me, sir. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the camera. Excuse me. Really you. Listen. All right. Okay. Do you want to know something? I, I am a perfectly normal citizen of the United States of America. I pay my taxes. I do everything good. You realize you were a cop, and then you realize that your whole life is fake. Excuse me, officer. W what did I do wrong? Well. One, you're yelling. It's very rude. Oh, yelling? You, you go to jail for yelling? No, but when you're inside the jail, you don't yell or you end yeah, up in the chair. Excuse me, sir. Have a cop tell you what I did wrong, please. Okay. What did I do wrong? So uh, what happened tonight with this guy in the Code 5 chair? Uh, basically, security from uh, the casino over at uh, the Hilton Hotel calls in saying he's passed out drunk, sitting up against the sidewalk, uh, got some car keys in his hand. So we show up with medical, and he's pretty drunk, so ask for his car keys. He doesn't want to give them to me. So put him in handcuffs again, just drops all his body weight on me and falls down to the ground. That's what you're being charged with? Just right now, obstructing and resisting. Mm, thank you. I swear to God, I did nothing at all. At all. all right. At all. Ryan, I talked to the officer that arrested you and found out what you're here for. Yeah. You're, here, you're here for obstructing and resisting. Two misdemeanors. Uh, okay. Come over here. Obstructing what? Obstructing justice. How? Oh. Interfering with the officer when he was trying to speak with you. Oh, he was what's going on. To me. That you were trying to find your vehicle like, and you're man, intoxicated. Man, man, man conversation. Pretty much, he prevented a DUI. Hey, how are you doing, sir? Good. Are Excuse you? me, you didn't ask me in time. Obstructing justice. Look at me. I'm in straps. I'm strapped down to a chair. That's and right. Got... Because of the way you're acting. How am I acting? Look at you. You're yelling. You're all animated. Look at you. Up. Look at you. Look you're acting out. like a civilized human being. Now, oh, God forbid that happens. Yeah, you should be arrested. Who, who was I obstructing? the officer that arrested you. Uh, uh, when you to... sober up, I'll oh, come no. back and talk to you some more. I, listen, listen, mother I'm, Listen. While you're in that chair and acting the way you are, you're going to stay in the chair. Okay, 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 fine. I, I walked down the street and, yes, I got arrested. For obstructing and resisting. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I got arrested because of, yes. I said, excuse me, officer, what did I do wrong? He says, you're being a 
He said, your mother... Well, he was sitting downstairs, and we were trying to let him sober up and calm down. Uh, he went out in the open booking area and uh, immediately started trying to spit. He's continued to rile himself up and make threats that if we take him out of the chair and take the cuffs off us, that he's going to make us pay. He's going to hurt us. Ryan. What's up? What did I do wrong? T tell me what I'm in here for. You're in here for resisting and obstructing. Uh, resisting what? Well, they arrested you for resisting and obstructing. They brought you to jail. Then once you're here, is we that, deal with you is, is during your incarceration. Is legal? Yes, it is. Okay. That's the only thing I'm accused of doing wrong. I, dr I drink alcohol. I had some alcohol, right? Mm-hmm. And then I went about my way. But according to you, it wasn't to the rules. Not one of you, you or any one of those officers can say any word against me. Obviously, you're still pretty intoxicated. You were put in the chair for your own safety. So I'm going to go ahead and let you calm down a little bit more, sober up a little bit more, and we'll have the nurse come talk to you later. Excuse me, officer. Thought he was starting to sober up, but apparently not. We'll try again in a few hours. I've been employed with the agency for six years. Originally uh, from here, pretty much uh, grew up around in Sarasota County area. Started this job because uh, I do have prior family in law enforcement uh, in the state of New York. You know, I like dealing with the people and serving my community. Now, you don't deal with crash like you're supposed to. Listen to verbal orders and we'll find out what's going on. What do we got? Open container. Open container? Yeah. Right. What's, what's the story of upon the take? You just didn't want to sit down or what? Yeah, he's just being combative, drunk. Okay. Uh, at first, we started out at the park, nice and calm, and then in the parking lot, when uh, I told him I was going to write him a ticket, he started screaming at me in the parking lot. So right, basically right. talked himself into, uh, into an arrest. Right, so. all you want. You ain't getting no money out of it. Sounds good. All right, we'll, uh, we'll get him processed in here and uh, get him out of your hair. All right. All right, Donald, step Sounds over good. here for me. You ain't getting no money out of me. OK, sir. So what you're saying is you, you'd rather come to jail than have a ticket? I'm not paying you all no money for okay, some your feet. All right, well, you know it's an arrestable offense inside the city limits, right? Well, I have beer and coke put together okay, at a well, cup. Well, it's still an open container. I don't give a damn. I'm not paying you all no money. Forget it. I don't want to hear Listen, it. Listen, I don't hear weapons, needles, razors, anything. No, I don't. No, I don't. Y'all worried about a little I'm for your money, sir. If they'd be like, like, like I've had drugs, oh, that would be a different story. Right. You know what, Nick Pickling all that bull? Hope to God you think you get some money out of my ass. All right, well, then you'll just sit in here, and you'll end up getting a 30-day sentence. Go ahead. Okay. Make my day. Put your hand on top of your head. Yeah, I, I ain't done with y'all yeah. guys yet. Okay. I'm going to take your ass to the newspaper. Y'all will learn who the hell I am. Right. Yeah, you ain't heard Step right over there where it says photo ID and fingerprint. I ain't done with y'all guys yet. Have a seat right there on that stool. Go on, learn. You do realize that we're not going to arrest you. Go Listen, learn. you're not going to raise your voice at me. You understand? I, I didn't come You understand? Dude. You understand? Go on, and nip I'm me. not the one who arrested you. But I have been locked up. All right, so I don't need the attitude. Keep okay. your hands down. I'm not giving you a pass. No. Stand up. Sir, sir, go on. I'm playing with you no more. Go on, learn. Go got a nick pick on anything y'all can. Nine. I mean, I understand it's a container, but something besides that, come on. Step in here, have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Stop trying to pull away from me. I'm going to sit down. I'm telling you to have a seat, and you're trying to pull away from me. I'm going to prove this. I'm going to beat this. I will. Now, you're either going to do this quietly and properly, or you're going to be on the ground, and we remove your stuff for you. How do you want to play it? Y'all trying to make a big deal out of what? You're making the big deal out of nothing, sir. I asked you to be quiet, and you want to yell over me. Take your shoes off. I don't know why you're making such a big deal out of a municipal ordinance. Listen, I don't want you screaming out this door. I don't want you banging on the door. I mean, we'll you understand? I'm not going to do that. All really? right, stay in here until you're ready to be processed, and then we'll take you out. Okay, you know what? I'm going to get through with y'all's hands. Good. You want to me? Are you really going to start again? Are you really going to start? I don't want to hear your mouth me. Whatever. OK, keep it up. Keep it up. Doesn't want to cooperate. He's here for a misdemeanor crime, and he's making such a big deal out of nothing. Could have been out of here tomorrow, but he wants to run his mouth, so he'll probably stay at least another three or four days. It'd be nice to have just a one quiet night. We haven't had one in a while.
It's been a couple hours. I'm going to uh, check on the uh, subject we had earlier that uh, came in highly intoxicated, see if he's going to be ready to process here. Hey, Donald. Yeah. Hey, you sit up for me for a second, please? I just want to find out. I want to, make, I want to know where my stuff's at, too, and I got locked up. OK. What, what stuff are you talking about? Oh, my stuff checked on first. I did my social security and all that stuff. Better be there. Okay. There's also a blue bag that I had, too. OK, I don't know anything about that, all right? Well, I know one thing. Y'all better thing. find it, then y'all I'm not going to get your process. property, OK? I'm not going to get processed until I find out where my stuff's at, because I didn't see him break no blue bag in here. OK. Do you remember anything that he came in with? His ID, social security card, it's all in his wallet. Okay, so he did it. It did come. Yeah, in it was in a little uh, metal case. Okay, no it's problem. all there. I saw it myself. But that property lady already took it upstairs. It's gone. Okay, sounds yeah. good. All right, I just spoke with the the officer that did your property. Okay, she's assured me that your social security, your social security card and your ID and everything, the property you came in with is in your property. The little white thing. It was yes, that's what she said. Okay. But you gotta understand, man. Like when you come in here. Okay, we could have got all, the, all all this done. You could have watched us do your whole inventory, your property, and everything. You know, but I mean, I know you've been out drinking tonight. I only have one beer. Okay, well, well, how come you're so pissed off then? You know, y'all ain't got nothing better to do. All right. Well, do you, are you want to get processed at this point or no? No, not right now. Okay. Well, we'll sit you in here for a while until you're ready to get processed. Some people that come into the facility, you know, under the influence of alcohol, especially with a subject like this, he's been here before, he knows the system. So a lot of times they just want to give us a hard time and not want to process. And unfortunately, until he's ready, there's not much we can do. Prisoner Jacqueline is up to be searched right now. Her and her boyfriend were brought in earlier tonight for Joy Ryan and a stolen vehicle. She's been out here on the bench crying and yelling. So just listen. Please don't push me yet. This is very, this, this is very dishumanizing. Okay. Are you and your boyfriend getting into it a little bit? Or? No. Hands up here. Do you have anything on you that could stick, stab, or poke me? No, ma'am. What's down here? Oh, it's a stem. A stem from a pipe? Yeah. Do you have anything else still. on you? No, that's it. Did you use it earlier today? No. How come you have it on you? Because I was wearing your photo. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to OK. Hey, we go grab a broom, so we don't step on that. That's my phone. She said she didn't use it yet. OK, lift up your right foot so we can sweep underneath it. Just so you know, I had that right here, and I don't, I forgot about it, and I don't know how it slid down my pants. I had it right here. Let's change her out of the pants, put her into gel pants. Let's walk her over here. OK, just follow us. OK, just let's go slow. Where was this? It was, like, right on the back of her leg right here when I was feeling up. Going up and doing search. So I felt the, the outside and it felt like a pipe. That's got to be the, the ball. The ball of the pipe. Keep your hands on the mat. I'm not going to tell you again. You understand? You know what? Stop. Keep your hands on the mat. Stop rough handing me. Keep oh your hands God. on the mat. OK? Stop. You need to listen. But it was him. Why can't you just ask me nicely? Oh, my gosh. That's what I'm trying to do. And he rough handed me. Back, Connor. Stop. Connor. No, no, I don't need the cuffs on. Oh my gosh, I can still freaking move and freak out with the freaking cuffs. Stop, yeah, stop what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Stop it right now. Stop resisting. Stop it. Stay still. If you guys will let go, I will stay still. You've had every chance to comply. Get your hand off my face. This is abuse. This is like, do you beat your wife like this? Yeah, I bet you do. Ready? I have seizures. You guys are going to put me in a seizure. Grab a tether, Fisher. Let go of me. P. P2. Jack, listen. I'm going to hurt you. Just listen. Till you cool down. I'm cool down. OK. 
Just stay there for a second. When you calm down, we'll come back and we'll start working with you, all right? Jackie's pretty upset out here during the intake search. Uh, tried to pull away from me, kept turning towards me. I thought for one minute she was going to spit on me. Uh, sometimes they'll try and swing their arms and backhand us. But we just take all those threats pretty seriously. Did you drink today? No. Any drugs or anything? Yeah, I, I, I did some drugs. I smoked some spice. And... Do you have any withdrawal problems off of that that you know of? No, but I also smoked some meth, so... 95%? OK, all right, that's uh, She's been cleared by medical staff to, to be moved down to a different cell. Her, her behavior is good. She's cooperating with the officers. And once that happens, we'll move her to another cell, and that's just one step closer to being out and being through the booking process. I've been with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for about five years now. This is a fast-paced job. I mean, you got to have a cool demeanor to work in this job. Sometimes when people get in your face, it's kind of hard to, to just to keep it cool and relax because you don't want the person to get hurt, and all of a sudden, you don't want to get yourself to get hurt. Right here, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. It's all right. It's all right. She can ask you some questions, car, okay? okay? Jerry, just go and answer the questions. Right How much have you been drinking tonight? Oh, I had a half a glass of wine, and I think that's the lady they called them. I think they called me. Just one glass of wine? Just one glass of wine? A half a glass. I didn't even finish. I'm not a drinker, and I'm not a smoker. I run 15 miles a week. Well, that's pretty good. Come on, Jerry. Have a seat over here, sir. And I'm raising two adopted children. I'm sorry. It's OK. Thank you, ma'am. Sorry. Uh, all right, Jerry, have a seat here. right here. Yep. Here. Yep. Just have a seat. Let's have a free name, OK? Somebody will call your name. You'll I'm go sorry. back there. Don't worry, don't worry. Really Somebody will call your name, all right? You probably got to get your fingerprinted. Make sure they'll go back there. Don't no, worry, don't no worry. I know. I'm just letting you know what's happening now, OK? Just hang on here, okay? He was at a uh, grocery store, and um, I guess he came back to purchase some um, wine. And uh, the people there recognized him from earlier, recognized that he was staggering, and he appeared that he had too much to drink. They kind of turned him away, and he went back to his car. And then he headed southbound. The transport unit located the vehicle, made the vehicle stop, because yeah. he was heavily intoxicated. So yeah. He uh, failed his uh, breath test. He said, I didn't have anything to drink. No. This isn't his first rodeo. Oh, no, it's not. It's not his first DUI? No. Really? It's like his several. <laughs> really? Yes. Wow. OK. Did you see his watch? My same driver, 20 years. Oh, wow. He's in here for, for uh, DUI. Yeah, for DUI. Yeah. Great home bus. Check it out. He got it from his, uh, from his work. Yeah. Dang, 20 years. How you feeling now, Jerry? You OK? You sobering up a little bit? I was a jumper. A jumper in the, uh, what, what armed forces were you? 82nd Airborne. All right. All right, let's have a seat right here, OK? Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. Put slippers on? No, just leave them there really quick. Oh, sorry. Oh, moving on all this way. Sorry. When you work in Greyhound bus, did you ever get caught drinking and driving in those 41 years? I never drank. Never drank and drive? I never, never drank. I never. I drank a half a glass of wine tonight. Mm -hmm. And I think that girl called Metro in heaven. And they got you, uh, yeah, got you here? I couldn't believe it. Have you ever been here before, Jerry? You've been here in Clark County? Oh, no, you're kidding. First time here? Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So you've never been here before, Jerry, ever? <laughs> Since in the last five you years. You know everything. You know everything. Well, I'm asking you. You actually told me this is your first time here, which isn't true. This is your fifth time here. Oh, no. Oh, no. This I your was fifth embarrassed. Time. I am really embarrassed. Really embarrassed. Embarrassed. I'm ashamed of myself. So? Because my wife died, my son-in-law died, and my daughter died. Is that what is, is making you drink so much, Jerry? Oh, 
And it's the only reason. I never drank before. I grew up for Greyhound 41 years, never had a drink. I'm 73 years old. I know. You shouldn't be drinking that, that way. Yeah, I can't Not at all. believe what I've done. I can't believe what I've done. All right, go ahead and sign for your property and your money. Oh. All right, this is a pen on your right-hand side. This is your charge is DUI with alcohol and your bail $2,000, OK? Oh, my god. All right, it's a misdemeanor now. I uh, don't know when it's a... Uh... I can pay it now. OK. All right, Jared, let's go this way. All right, Jerry, this is your charge now. You post your bail. You'll be getting out of here within, like, between 8 and 10 hours, OK? Really? Yep. Hopefully sooner than that, all right? Have a seat right back here. Thank you. No problem. Take that? Yeah, no, this is mine. So he'll be out of here about 10 hours. Um, he was a college driver and didn't drink once for 41 years. I just hope I don't see him again. Anything sharp on you, knives, needles, razor blades, nothing like that? Oh, just my mind, man. My mind is sharp. All right. What brings you in other than the police? Other than the police? Being caught. Being caught doing what? Being caught being a thief. What were you trying to steal? <laughs> no, nah, actually, actually, I wasn't stealing. I was I was with somebody who was stealing, and I got caught. It happens. So the guy's actually did the stealing. Got he got away. He got away. And, he got away, and, you and I got caught. And you got caught. Exactly. That's a bum deal. You go to college? Yeah. What you study? Business entrepreneurship. <laughs> they talk to you about, uh... I don't even want to go there. <laughs> All right, you're going to have a seat right. right over here. He was under arrest at Fred Meyer for shoplifting. Oh, security had already... Security already arrested him. So when I got there, I uh, literally read the report, then put, found that I had probable cause for the arrest, put him in handcuffs, and transported him to jail. Oh. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you much. Appreciate it. Well, in a nutshell, what happened? I went to buy a volleyball for my daughter and buy a Which movie. is the one that you guys got? It's the one I got. OK. And I'm walking out. I see this guy talking to him, walking with him, asked me to do something I shouldn't have did. I did it, got caught, and I'm here. Split decision, man. I could have easily just been like, no. Nah. Just walked out, and I would have been at home right now with my kids watching Puss in Boots. Have you ever been in jail before? Yeah, I've been here before. Similar types of things or something else? Similar, just the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Before I even asked you that question, I was getting ready to say, I think that you probably won't be back again. But you've had a history, so you've already, had, so you've already you, been so, here before. So you think I will be back again? Well, you've, you've been here before, right? True. So now, when you're here at one point, and then you come back again, you're classified as a recidivist. Recidivist, that what does that mean? That you have come back to jail again. You're, it's a reoccurring thing. You go out, you come back, you go out, you come back. So the more times you come here, the more times you'll continue to come here. If you're on parole or probation, you don't report, you're not paying your fines, you go to jail. See, that's a real slippery slope. So how do you get out of that? How do you change your thinking? Everything that you're thinking right now, had you a thought that when Beforehand, you were with your boy, the first happen. time it wouldn't happen, you'd have been like, I need to be at home with my babies. You know what I thought, too? The reason why I went with it, I feel like it's because of my struggle. Even though I was able to go in there, and I'm blessed to go in there and buy my kids when I needed to buy them, something else got into my head. And, and I think it was greed, too, because I was just. That's exactly what it is. That's, that's what it was. It was that's just... not a struggle, though. Listen to me. If you were going in there and you had no, listen for a second, if you had no money, you didn't have a roof over your head, and you were going to get some food for your babies, I'm like, man, that sucks, but I understand it. I get that. I'm not saying it's right, but I understand it. You were going to buy some shoes. You bought a volleyball. My daughter loves volleyball. I, that's not a struggle, bro. That right then and of itself is not a struggle. You said you could have been at home watching Puss in Boots. It means you got a house, you got a TV, you got a DVD player, and time to sit down with your babies. That's not a struggle either. So maybe you need to recalibrate on what you really feel like a struggle is. Maybe that's what I need to do. You know what I mean? All right, I got to get back to work. Thanks, man.
Jayshon. Let's go, man. Uh, released? It's quick. I appreciate what you told me today. Man, that's real talk, you know honestly. I mean... That, that word is... It's it, it, it settled with me. Which accountability? Which uh, word? The reset... What, what's Recidivist. Recidivist. Re yeah. I'm gonna take that with me wherever I go. Because I don't want to be recidivist. You already are. But you don't have to continue to be. Exactly. The moment you came back to me and, and said that, because you, you know, you, you, you evaluated my character. Because you seem like a stand-up guy. I mean, the first one of the first things you talked about was your babies, you know what I mean? And you went to the store for your kids to get them some things. You said, I should have been at home with my kids watching a movie. To me, that speaks a lot about your character. That does in and of itself. And then, you know, you were like, I should have done it, I made a poor decision. I mean, you're not making excuses. That's huge, man. So honestly, this is the last time I see you. What's your name, man? Sergeant Scott, man. Sergeant Scott, yeah. I appreciate you. This will be my last time. I hope so. I think Jay Sean learned a huge lesson. For some reason, the word recidivist really resonated with him. He says, I don't want to be that word. Honestly, I don't really expect to see him here again. I don't. I supervise a crew of uh, seven deputies, basically all aspects of booking in new arrestees. Multnomah County is almost epidemic with our mental health problem. There's very little uh, support on the outside uh, for, for them to get help, to get medications. So basically, we're the place where the police send them, then this is where the courts keep them. We're basically the largest mental institution in the state of Oregon right now. So what do we got? Crazy and drunk. You gonna be all right, or are you gonna be bad? I will be bad, sir. Okay, that's good. All right, here we go. All right, good, 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 good. I didn't even eat that. All right. Okay, oh, here we go. All right, come on. What is this? Walk around the corner to your left. No, this is the corner. You gotta take a time out for a second. Come on in. Step down. Go down. Hey, be nice, my grandpa's jacket. What brought you in contact with this guy? He was down at 158 and he was uh, generally drunk and kind of running into the street. And then he got on a bus, so we were done with that. And then he got off the bus and ran into the street and tried to clothesline a motorcyclist. So the motorcyclist stopped and flagged us down. And when we got up to him, he was totally calm. But once he got in the car, he started freaking out and just screaming like he was and kicking the car and smashing his head. So. White power! Don't. Dad. Don't. I'm going to kill myself. No, you're not. Dad. I'm going to do it. No, you're not. I know you did. We'll get the restraint check. Right now, I'm going to kill myself. Right here. Here it is. Pull it out. I, we can't work. Good. Put it under. Sit down. Look at this You know why I'm not kicking right now? I think you're sexy. Give me a spit sock. Let's get the feet in there. Blood power. Blood power. Shut up. I'll I just want to kiss you. I want to kiss you so bad. Oh. I love you, white. I love you, White. I love you, White. I love you, White. You good? Yeah. White, I love you. I love you, White. White power! Uh-huh. All right. It's one of the most out of controls we've had in several months. He's got something on board. Maybe some meth. White power. We're gonna have medical check him to make sure that his uh, restraints are. I don't understand what you're trying to do. You're trying to make sure I'm not um, sick. I'm not sick. Just get out of here, sir. Okay. 
I'm not sick. Let's, let's keep this on your finger real quick, okay? You count down in 20 seconds for me? 20, 19, 18, 16, 16. I need you to count down to 20 seconds. Don't, don't count quite Can yet. you make them leave? I, I probably don't freak out. In Just about, make them leave. In about 40 seconds. No, no, no. You may not. They took your wife! You killed him! You killed him! You Please come it's back later. Easy. When he's not here. I'll, I'll come back in about 30 minutes, Michael, okay? I need you to slow down. Get your car <laughs> Ruby Ridge! Ruby Ridge! Michael, right over here. Are you on any kind of meth or anything like that right now? I, I don't take drugs, sir. Okay, well, what? You know, I'm a white supremacist, well, and I know what they did. Well, not all white supremacists freak out like this on us, so I just want to know what's going on, okay? Because it seems like there might be As a white supremacist, I do not take drugs. I only drink, sir. Are you are you highly intoxicated right now, then? No, sir. Okay. They, they tricked him. They shot well, the enough. dog okay. to get him out. They shot the dog to get him out. I know you did. <laughs> I will not forget! <laughs> he's got to go to the hospital or something like that. If he doesn't resolve, you know what I mean? Because right now he's in some sort of psychosis. I don't know whether it's... If you think he needs to go out, just let me know as soon as possible we can hire somebody. Okay. Or, yeah, you know, because, you know, like I said, always as close as we get to shift change. Yeah, I know. The harder so it is. So if you yeah. want me to tell the tenant to hire somebody just in case? Um, uh, we're going to send him out. I'll give her a call if you want. Okay, thanks. I know he's mentally ill from past incarcerations. He was referring to Ruby Ridge, which was in northern Idaho. Was uh, uh, white, he's a white supremacist hero. I think their name of the Weavers, where they uh, right. hold up in their house, and the FBI snipers Posse killed the types. killed the wife and uh, the son and the dog. And uh, I think his name is Randy Weaver. So that's oh, who he's referring no. to. He must be a like a white supremacist cult hero to this to this kid. Don't know what drugs he has on board, but he's got something on board. So we're going to send him out to the hospital to see just exactly what's wrong with him. Get him! Get him! You killed him! You killed him! Why did you kill him? Why did you kill him? No! No! Why did you kill him? Why? Why? Why did you kill him? Oh, Ruby Red! Ah! Michael's headed to the ER to be evaluated. Medical thought he was in some sort of psychosis. He kept focusing on anybody wearing a uniform, thinking that we were part of the, the law enforcement that tried to take out the Ruby Ridge. I don't understand. No, this is a war. We must secure the future for white children. I'm a warrior, and they treat me like a psychopath. Ruby Ridge! Unlike the arresting officers, we deal more with attitude than actual charges. What we're looking for is how an inmate is behaving when they come into the facility. We're just trying to get a feel when we ask them questions and see how their behavior is going to be during the process. This inmate is giving an officer a hard time, so we're going to go take a look and see what we got. He fell off his bike. He's drunk. I didn't fall off. I got run by a car. I did. Okay. You gonna play that game with me? <laughs> Where was the car? Yeah. Oh yeah, right, 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 right. I should have got the nice and number off the car. You jackass! I thought you were the brother. He fell off his bicycle. No, no. I got run off by. I got run off by a uh, run bike. A uh, car yeah. run over me. Stop talking. You jackass. Car yeah. run over me. Locked off my bike. The, the ambulance is there, and this jackass shows up and loves me and takes me to jail. I mean, this jackass. All right. Alcatic bullshit. Take, take your attitude and go over there, sir. Have a seat. I don't give a Awesome, awesome. Builds character, sir. God do it, you. Jackass. I'm a jackass now? You're a jackass. This boy is, is a jackass. What were you doing to get run over by a car, sir? I was on a bicycle like stupid. You're riding your bicycle down the road, or what? Yeah, right, right, right. No, no, no. I'm, uh, I was living on the sidewalk. You were on the sidewalk, and the car came up on the sidewalk and ran you down? No, I got run over by a car, punk. You got to stop being aggressive. Otherwise, your cuffs are going to stay <clears> on. <throat> well, goddamn, I got run over by a car, and I'm in jail. 
Well, I had nothing to do with that, right? Are you going to behave yourself? Yes, sir. I just got run over by a car, and I'm in jail, and I'm sorry. Huh? Amazing grace. We're going to step right in here. OK, go ahead and put those on your feet for me, sir. I sure will, sir. I get run over by a car, and I'm in jail. I know. No, you don't know. You're full of bull man. Have I been mean to you in any way? Sir, I got run over by a car, and I'm in jail. Right. I got run over. OK, you're basically here for disorderly intox. That's bull that, I got run over by a damn. Sit. OK. I got run over by a car, and I'm in jail. OK. That's wrong. Well, you smell of alcohol. Oh, I bet I do. OK. I wish I had one of my beers. <laughs> Where's the car that run me over? I don't know, sir. And drove off. They said you should have got his license number. Every guy ran over by a car got his license number real quick when they ran over. I've never been ran over by a car, sir. Idiot. Go ahead and put your hand right there. We're going to change out your shorts because you got some blood on them, OK? I bet I do. I got run over by a goddamn car. We're going to go into this inmate shower here, sir. Go right over here. I'm going to walk with you, all right? We're going to be good school pals here. Good God. Yeah, I know. I, I, I just want to make sure you're safe and healthy, OK? So we're going to take you sir. in here. Do I look drunk to you? Yes, sir, actually, you do. You look drunk to me. Well, maybe that's because you're intoxicated, sir. All right, we're going to step right over there for me. You want to get him a picture? Yeah, we're going to do a picture here. Uh, you tell me when. OK, hold your head straight for me. Come on, let's go play this game. Jackass. OK. Why do you keep calling me names, sir? I'm taking my picture now. I, I took your picture already, James. Did I smile? You you look <laughs> like a movie star. All right, stay right here, OK? I got to get okay, this tattoo, okay, okay, right? Yeah, tattoo. Stay just like that. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Stay just like that. I got run over. Unbelievable. What, what is that on your neck, sir? KKK. That's not KKK. It's a burning cross, you dumb bastard. Oh. Hey, quit swearing. That's oh, for sorry. sure. Uh, I apologize. We're we'll not getting the hell out of here. Listen, OK, your charge is disorderly in tux. Your bond is $120. If you want to get out of here, you got to pay cash. I pay you dog Well, then you're not going to be here. You're going to be staying at the night's end. Let's do this. All right. Well, y'all, I, need... I got run up by a goddamn car, and now you want money? Are you crazy? And not go to jail? You're in jail. And when I get out? If you pay $120, you I'm not get out. paying $120. All right. Then the only other option that you have, if you don't want to pay $120 and you don't want to go through a bondsman, is you're going to have to go see the judge tomorrow. OK? And you can go in front of the judge. The judge can release you on ROR, which is released on your own recognizance, or supervised release. All right? You punk ass. I ain't paying you goddamn. I got run over by a car, and you gonna want more money from me? Are you crazy? Are you on drugs? Me. It's not me. Okay, you need to settle down. All right. What I need you to do, go ahead and have a seat. We're gonna take you upstairs in a few minutes. I'm, oh. I'm getting excited. I want my shirt too. <laughs> take a copy here. Take a copy. Jackass. Such a sweet man. I love you too. He's clearly intoxicated, and he's got a lot of colorful words. I have a feeling that, you know, the way he's talking to people, he's he's not going to make it very far. So we'll try and get him upstairs so he can lay down and take a nap, and he won't be disrupting anybody else. get arrested and they seem to have an attitude they get agitated and basically what that does is that hinders their process and if they knew that that was going to be the case they would not do that because no one wants to be here longer than they have to let's go walk patient, patient Stop. 
sing it? No. Oh, my God. Sing it, That's love. Well, what was his, his ordeal out there? He was stopped at one of the nightclubs on the strip. Uh, he was asked to leave by the staff there, refused to uh, the song, right song there. I uh, was slightly combative with the officers. What are charges going to be on It's just going to be a misdemeanor, uh, citizen's arrest for trespass. Okay. Oh, my God. I surrender to every I don't word know. Whisper, He's very good. And every word to answer. We're taking this guy to the side cell right now because he won't stop singing out in the uh, pre arrest area. So we got to get him removed from the area and keep control out there. He just won't follow instructions. So move him to the side cell and uh, hopefully he'll calm down and he'll be able to go through the process later. Just leave him in cuffs. Now, homie, we gonna need to take a cockpit. Cause when I find, I be right behind the cockpit. I don't think he broke. He, he wouldn't stop. He went out to the nurse's office. I don't think he answered one question. No. Yeah. So. What would they pull you over for? I racing, that's it. If you're racing, that's it? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. That's about 42 grams of methamphetamine. Well, oh, how it's nice. It's all meth. It's, it's like all 40, meth, 42 huh? 42 grams of meth or something like that. Oh, wow. And he was running because he was drunk. That's what he said. I thought you were just drinking. A what? What did you have in your, what does he have in that little yellow envelope of yours? It's not alcohol. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? There you go. Come down here, sit in the last chair of that row. Wait for a medical to call you. Him and his buddy were driving. Just looking kind of weird, so I ran the plate. The RO comes back to some priority five sex offender cat, so got him out of the car. And they're standing in front of the car, both of them, I'm right behind him. Boom, takes off that way. Mm -hmm. I take off after him. His buddy ghosts me somewhere. I don't know where he went. Right. He looks like he got the worst of it, even though your pants are torn. <laughs> That was in the car. All packaged nice and neat, I see. All packaged nice and neat. So he's got quite a substantial this is a amount lot, This here. is a lot of men. Is this something he could get trafficking for? Oh, well, he's getting charged with trafficking. OK. It okay. was in a vehicle, and it's over four grand. Right. Thank you. like something is going on in the cell. I don't know what's happening. Let me go. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to destroy you. It's our singer. Ocean's dry up. Heavens fall out of the sky. Sky turn red. Well, we get it again. Yeah, get it open. All powerful. Go out there, kill them all. Werewolves, everything. They can't kill me. They think they got me. All right, All the way down. Seems to have become completely resistant. When I open the door, if you want to step up in my face, you can come at me, so I took him to the ground, so I'm just going to work. He just simply has gone from being the life of the party to somebody who is completely combative and non-responsive to our, our direction. So he ends up being ultimately in the chair. And uh, you know, hopefully in a couple hours, we can see if his tone changes, if he ends up being a little bit more responsive to our questions and see what's going on with him. How often do you catch someone who usually has this much meth on them? You know, just luck on any given day that you happen to roll across a guy with this much. All right, so this is methamphetamine. It's going to turn orange. So we're just going to break the ampule in the middle. Agitate the pouch. You can see there it's going orange. As far as trafficking and dealing weights, these are still small amounts. Total weight of 42.6 grams, all said and done. All right, I got to get back out there now. But when you get this all finished up, I can break the news to him out there. OK, left them. Jose, we're seizing your $300 you're being charged with. Possession of controlled substance with intent to sell methamphetamine, trafficking controlled substance methamphetamine, transporting controlled substance methamphetamine, obstructing a PO and resisting a PO. Don't run next time, and it won't go that ugly. I run because I'm okay, and I tell you, get away from you. Because you're drunk? Why'd you run? Because I, I didn't want to get away. Because you wanted to get away from what? Being from drunk? From you. I'm still taking your money, I'm still taking your drugs, and you're still going to jail. Can you give me my money back? No, your money's being seized. 
as proceeds of illegal activity. Did you get it? No, my, my, right, my money is my money, but um. No, 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 no you, you don't get to keep seized. your money. All right. There's a little piece of paper where I seized it. Right there. All right. Go down the seat where you were. He's going to deny it until the end, but he was caught with it, so he's going to be charged with it, and he's going to find he's going to be here or in prison for quite some time. He came in, he was singing, singing loud, screaming, took him to a side cell. I opened the cell door. He runs up, gets about three inches from my face. I take him to the ground, and I put him in a restraint chair. He's a psyche valve. Sir, you have to stay like this till we get out of here, OK? What kind of drugs did you take yesterday? None. You told me you were under the influence of a uh, controlled substance. I wasn't. You weren't? Were you drinking? No. We have social services here that you can talk to, and we can help you. Thank you. All right? We'll get you the help today. Thank you. Although he's claiming he's not under the influence of, uh, of drugs or controlled substance, he, uh, he did admit to me that he, he had taken drugs earlier in the evening. And that's why he's acting this way. So he's probably embarrassed now. And I think isolation is a good spot for him until he can regroup and move on. the same people coming in. We have probably a 70, 80% recidivism rate. At nighttime, most of them are under the influence of alcohol. So they'll be depressed, or sometimes they want to get in a fight. But either way, it's our job to take care of them and make sure the facility runs safely. Oh, Do the job. Hey, why don't you search the 20 Mexicans that threw rocks at me? Let's them up. Oh, yeah. were they too tough for you guys? You've been here before. Hey, yeah, I make it. I make it. I check my You've been here before, right? Yeah. Yeah. So just calm down. You know how this works. I never remember you, kid. Are you drinking tonight? A little bit. Are you killing all you? Hey, white socks. Yeah, you, my. I just went for you to sleep. Relax. Christopher. Put the oh, yeah. 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 Hey, so we still play tennis? Yeah, we gotta, we gotta play tennis together, right? We gotta match? All right, Kristen, I'm just gonna search you. You gotta rip me off your entire I get some dope from you. Hey, rip off your dope? Yeah. yeah. I want your dope? Every time I got dope when I come here, you hit on that, so I'm gone. Yeah? Give me some more. Relax. Give me some more. Relax. Relax. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. Relax. 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 Hey, Christopher, I'm worried about your safety. Do you have anything that a doctor sees you for? I like your slack. Thank you. Do I need to worry about you hurting yourself while you're here, Christopher? I hurt myself every day with these. Okay, he definitely should be close ops. I mean, that's a great Christopher, we're going to go up to your knees, all right? Oh, yeah. Go ahead and stand up. We can't tell you the truth. There you go. All right, Christopher. You don't want to tell the rest of the story, huh? We'll get to the Mexicans. That's how it works. And a beautiful, I'm a, I'm a registered voter. I'm a registered voter. And you Mexicans want to put a point on me? I'm killing everyone of you. You're dead. You're dead. So we're going to come back today? No. No? Just drink it? Choose it. Choose it, what's that? All right, go back down to your knees, sir. Raise her up. We have a taser here. We can deliver 15,000 volts of electricity, OK? Uh, you need to do exactly what the deputies tell you, and don't resist them. All right, the butter. Uh, Relax. All right, Kristen, I need you to remain in this position. And do not get up until you 
So what did the uh, arresting officer tell you about Chris? Said the Reno Police Department's bike team went out on him, and he was had a brick, and he was going to throw it at little kids. And they pulled their guns out on him and almost shot him. I noticed when he came in that he was claiming that he was a victim. No, they said he might have been hallucinating or he might be under the influence of something. His charge is a minor one, intoxicated pedestrian in a roadway. He's fortunate that he didn't get charged with a much more serious crime, especially given the circumstances. We're going to go check on Chris right now. He came in combative and was very uncooperative early. We want to make sure he's doing all right and that there's no issues with him. Chris. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Want some water or something? Don't be rude to me. If I'm going to help you out, man, you got to be polite. Here, sit up so you can get a drink of water. Oh. How you feeling, man? Not so good? You just feel like sleeping and kicking back? Yeah. Ah, remember where you were when you were picked up? On the ground. The ground? What street? Remember? Right. Down, downtown? Yeah, I think that's right. probably right. a good, good call. Whatever he may have been under the influence of seems to be wearing off. When he wakes up in the morning, day shift will probably take care of him, get him booked through, and uh, see if he qualifies for his own recognizance release. Sarasota is such a tropical climate. It tends to attract a lot of different people here coming down for the tourist season. Um, the heat generally adds another aspect to it where people are getting frustrated with the situation. They tend to, you know, have more domestic violences, more aggravated. They tend to drink a whole lot more. So it's one of those things that you never really know what you're going to get here. <laughs> OK, we're going to go out to Sally Port. Uh, supposedly, we got a combative coming in. So we're going to go out there and assist to make sure the officer's all good to go. So what, what was the issue tonight? The issue was he was urinating on the side of a building. OK. And he was resisting. Therefore, he hit his face on a picnic table and had to go get stitches. How you doing, sir? I know. OK, I, I understand that. I'm cool. OK, you're going to behave yourself, right? Yeah, dude, I've been arrested like 25 times. All right, come on out here. Watch your head getting out, sir. We're going to go right over here, OK? So what was going on? My girlfriend took my dog in my truck. Took your dog in your truck sounds like a country song. Yeah, I'll tell you about writing this song. Yeah. This is my favorite spot. Turn and face the wall. He said he's going to meet you tomorrow, too? Well, they play the same time, but this time I'm going to end up with a broken jaw. Michael, did you tell her that you, you would meet her tomorrow and she would end up with a broken jaw? No, I said, I'm going to talk to my sister tomorrow, and she's uh, going to get her jaw readjusted. Oh, you're going to, so the deputy's going to get beat up tomorrow? No, I'm just joking. Uh, yeah, because we don't play with that a whole lot. I'm just joking. I, I don't joke like that. Hey, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm just drunk. No, no, I'm sorry about that. I'm going to take these handcuffs off. When I do, you're just going to have a seat right here. You upset me. You hurt my heart. I thought we were going to be good friends there, Michael. You guys are so nice to me. Every time I come in here, I've been here like 10 times. I'm, let me tell you, thank you. Can I ask you a question, sir? What? Why do you keep coming back? Good. Because... <laughs> I'm poor. You're poor? There's yeah. lots of people out there that don't have a lot. And I have no work, and life's getting crazy. Okay. So you're adding to your situation. So I come here to relax. This is your favorite hot spot? Hogwash. It's beautiful. It's like a vacation. I've never heard it call it a vacation. I love this. It's like a retirement home. A retirement home. Outstanding. You know what you got on Tuesdays? <laughs> Turkey sandwiches. Turkey sandwiches. Turkey sandwiches. Man. 
So did you get stitches tonight? Looks like your nose is a little bit swollen oh, there. You got chicks. some blood around the My left. girlfriend, she took my dog in my truck, and this guy is going, dude, you got to go, and I'm like, whatever, dude. And so what happened was he hit me in the jaw, and then he's like, he thought oh, my jaw was kind of tough, but he hit my nose. Anyway, I was not abused by the police. I was abused by my girlfriend's boyfriend. So you got like a threes company dealio going on? Yeah, there. I'm just trying to figure this uh, Oprah stuff out. She got rid of your dog. You know that that doesn't sound like a very nice person. Why didn't you just walk away from the whole situation? Because I thought I was just going to go to jail so I could relax. You know what? The police are going to show up in like ten minutes. I'm like, cool. I was thinking, if the police show up, I can like at least I can get some food. I'm hungry. All right, Michael, step in here. To your left, to your left. We're going right over to the inmate shower. You got blood on your clothes. We're taking it off. Yeah, awesome, dude. So I look tough, though. Uh, you, you look kind of silly. So you know what? If I go to jail, I'll look tough, right? All right, come on out. OK, let me be in charge for a little while. Step in here. We're going to go back and around over here. Sure. You remember anything about this evening? No, the trick is, if you're intoxicated, you're Step like, over here. are you responsible? Yes. You're in the court of law? Right out. here. Out. Intoxicated or not, you could be held responsible for threats you make. Yes, sir. So basically, you're saying when you're intoxicated, you think you can say and do whatever it's you called, want? Uh, I'm insane. You're insane? Yeah. No, no. Alcohol does not cause insanity. So when we get out, what's some things we could do to make our lives a little bit better? Why do you care about me so much? Because it's my job, Michael. You don't think I took this job because I wanted to make snow cones, do you? Really? I like that. That's what I like about you. Well, I appreciate it. Now, Michael, do you think you can sit out here and behave? Yes, I can. OK. You're going to sit right here, and then I'm going to get you a mattress and a hot meal. Thank behave you. Behave yourself, Michael. All right, Michael was kind of interesting. He said he liked our turkey sandwiches so much, now he's going to get the opportunity to eat one this evening. So hopefully everything's taken care of and good to go for him. What's unique is the people. You have different styles, different personalities of individuals that come in to our system. One of the sayings that they say is keep Portland weird. And seeing these people come through our system, it really makes you realize what Portland's like. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Oh. Like party. Are you sick? Are you hurt? Yeah. Are you diabetic? Yeah. You feeling like you want to hurt yourself? Okay. What happened? Drunk. Drunk? I don't know. Medical. Can I have come take a look at this guy? He's got a nice little lump on his face there. So if, can you have you right? check it for me? All right. Hey, Rick, look this way. Uh, you know. I got a check. Yeah, I'm I... fed. You're a fed? Yes. I did not know that. It's made it's very, very clear several times. What agency? DOE. DOE? Department of Education. Energy. What do you get with? Energy? Yeah. I'm still cognizant. Did you lose consciousness? Not at all. Okay. How come you got one on each side here? Well, I was born with I was born with circles. Okay, but you got two two Ouch. injuries on both sides. I'm gonna get your blood pressure. I just want to go back to my hotel. I don't have control of that. Where are you at? What's this place? <laughs> the worst place yeah. in my life. Which is? Oregon. Yeah. The... <laughs> no, this place, where you're at. I am being accosted in. You're accosted, OK. Where is this? I don't, I don't know if it's no, a town. you're in jail. Is it That's county? Is it county? County, yeah. OK. OK, so you sound like you, you're with it. So just making sure. I'm a fed in county. Okay. Can I go? No, nope, hang on a second. Where are you from? California. Ah. What part? Southern. Ah. Mm. Why don't you come with me real quick? We're gonna get you out of the outfit. I'm a fed, you guys. Okay. What I need you to do is take that. That's all. So what was he doing? He was stumbling down the park. 
When he saw us, he decided to try to run down some stairs to a door that uh, is locked and doesn't really go anywhere. This is a staircase. Mm -hmm. He may have fallen down the stairs, for all I know. But uh, he went running down there and came running back up and He's stumbled into me. He's yeah. not a student. Not a student. No, no nothing. Yeah. I, I think I think he thought tonight was a red dress party. He's about a month off. Okay. Well, we'll see what we got with him. All right. Put your shoes on. I apologize. Period. All right. That's cool. So, would you at a party there? Apparently, had fun. Do you remember having fun? I do. Okay. You gotta let him do the fingerprints right now, man. This is your first time here. Mm -hmm. You are on record for anything? No. So I have to ask you, what made you put the red dress on? You don't know? No, I don't. That's what I'm asking you. Okay. So I came here. I had no desire to put a red dress on. Every gay guy in the city put a red dress on. Uh, well, today? Is there a reason? Is there some I have event a, I going don't, on? I hate gay guys. But I put one on, and it was just gay guy dress day. But you said you're not gay. Oh, I am totally gay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you are? OK, I just want to make sure. OK. All right. So, so is that a national holiday? Mm -hmm. Or is that a Portland thing? It's a Portland thing. It's a Portland thing. I've never heard of it. I was just wondering. What hotel are you staying at? Are you staying at the Monaco? My friend oh. owns Monaco. Is that where you're staying? Where you're staying at? He's the prince of Monaco. He reign, He's okay. the own. He owns Monaco. Do you remember where you were drinking at at all? I don't, but my friend is the prince of Monaco. So if you can buy me out of this, then I'll do it. So basically, you don't know how much alcohol you drank then? A lot of guys who drink everything. They were just giving you stuff to drink? They took control of the entire night. Did you get a fight or something? No. OK. It sucks for me. OK. You can probably get released out of jail. Thank OK? You. Thank but you. You can't go back down to California. You're going to have court on Monday. You understand that? You have to go to court. All right? If you don't go to court, they're going to put a warrant out for your arrest. Oh, I'm a federal cop. I'm a fed. Well, you, you just said you're a Department of Energy. So regardless of what's going on, you're going to go into court. I'll be there. So until then, sit with all the other guys. Sir. All right? Thank you. All right, go ahead and have a seat. What was he saying? He's a federal cop? Department of Energy. That's not federal cop, it's the Department of Energy. Well, they have cops, too. They have 1801s. Oh, yeah. But I honestly, don't think he's a cop, I don't either. So trespass? So they got my trespass. Federal cop from California in a dress. That'd be awesome. Watch show eight years. We usually have somewhere around a thousand inmates at one time. Reno's a 24 hour city. Uh, we have a lot of stuff that goes on here uh, 12 months out of the year. Um, and being the second largest city in, in Nevada, uh, and it's a gambling state, so we're pretty busy most of the time. What they bring in for? Stolen vehicle. Hmm? Stolen vehicle. Is this their, your first time in here? No, I came in like a few weeks ago. Again? All right, come on in. That time, I didn't even know this vehicle was stolen. Honestly, I didn't. But this time, I, I knew. Nice All right, have a seat in the chair behind you, sir. Arms up and over the back. You have a warrant. What are you here for? Did you come in from the cop? Yeah, I tried. Today? I was going to say, you're a little dirty. Yeah, I tried until I seen that dog, and then I got down. Probably a smarter call, man. I'll just drag you back to the popo. Be polite, be respectful. Listen up for your last name. You'll get to use the phone a little bit. OK? Come on. Look at the camera. I don't want you to move. It's going to hear it go click. You have a seat over there in the brown chairs. Booking is going to be calling you up. Court service is going to be calling you up. Medical is going to be calling you up. And you need to get there, because if you miss it, you're going to be here a while. Now you're in here with Big Boy. The real deal in here. You ain't gonna like it. All right, sit down. Now he's been in here twice for a stolen vehicle. Hard case. He's a tough kid. So Cody and Mark both got arrested for the possession of stolen motor vehicles. When I was talking to the undercover guys, they said that they're wanted for about six. You talked to I talked Cody. to Mark. The funny part about it is his mom called the cops on him and told him. I think they're about to get a rude awakening. A rude awakening. Yeah, because they're little guys. Yeah. They're going to have a hard time in prison. And that's where he's going. Both oh, yeah, both felonies.
get in the shower. What about you, Mark? You're still doing dope. If you if you really don't want to quit, say you don't want to quit. Nah, I quit for a little bit and then I don't know. My uncle was a dealer. He's been in the alley his whole life. Is that where you want to be? I went through drug court. Yeah. Went through quest. I went through all that. <laughs> I mean, I know I can do it by myself. I just so why don't you choose do not it? to. I had a choice of being a dealer. Could have made a lot of money for a short period of time, or leaving town. So I took off and joined the military. For me, that was a good choice. In your case, you got to get away from your society, your culture. Your friends are going to draw you back into it. You got to go somewhere and be yourself, get away from the stuff. So think about it. When you're sitting in that cell and you got nothing else to think about, think about it. All right, gentlemen, listen up. When we walk around the hallways, we walk with our right shoulder to the walls. You grab your bucket, stand up. Stand by your cell door. Mark, his attitude seems to be he doesn't really care. He's enjoying what he's doing right now. He doesn't really have anything to motivate him to, to change what he's doing. Hopefully, we said something that would help him. I hope so. Corrections takes a different type of person. You got to have thick skin, have a great degree of professionalism, self control. The ones who make a career out of this last their 20 years plus. The rest of us have a great degree of respect and admiration for their endurance and commitment. I don't pay taxes to be incarcerated for telling the neighbor thanks. We got prisoner Scott over here. He's been yelling on the bench. Apparently, he had a dispute with his neighbor. He's highly intoxicated right now. Come over here. Come on, you know, now, now I'm handcuffed. It's my boy. It's my boy. Scott, you have anything sharp on you going to poke or cut me? Like, feeling homicidal, suicidal? No, I feel, I feel like I hate Muslims and Jews and Christians. I can squeeze my arm like that, bitch. It's unnecessary. You know, I got a half ounce of bud. You have drugs on you now? No. I said I had a half ounce, and I said I had it on me. As soon as I get out, you know, I'm going to smoke and be all blunt. Go kill some Muslims for a while, and I'll swallow a pot. How about that, huh? I'm fighting this, man. I told my neighbor, thanks for calling the cops. So come on, rough it up. It'd be a little different if I had those handcuffs on. Wonder, if these are officers for you, I kick your ass. Do you think you're all that fucking bad? Why are you gonna be violent? I'm not being violent. I'm not resisting. Why is this punk right here gonna try to bust my wrist, huh? Just relax, stop. Relax, stop. It's unnecessary. It's your buddy here. I'd hate America, and I hate you. I'd be a wealth though. Wealthy rich man was he sticking your sniffing noses up everybody's business, huh? Hey, why well, you gotta try to bust my wrist, son? Just bad. I feel like I ain't. How about me and you out in the park lot? You think you're that tough? Why well, you gotta hurt my wrist, huh? Huh? Why well, 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 you gotta be rough and I ain't resisting, huh? Christ, no, officer. Step out of your shoes. You need to calm down. You're almost done with this search. Oh, yeah. Let us complete our search and we'll Let get you into a cell. search and you guys lick my ass. Calm down, Scott. Why well, you gotta try to bust my ass? Check his mouth. Check his mouth. Easy. Open your mouth. I gotta see it in your mouth. Oh, yeah, I got some crap. Uh, see that? Okay. Good. See that? See that? Tell him like heroin there, too. Okay. It's a whole pot. If we need to do a hand trade, we will. If we need to do a hand trade, we will. P3. So I told the name of things to call the cops. Hey. We're going to leave the cell. When we do, you need to back up to the door, bend it way forward at the waist so we can hey, remove the handcuffs through the, 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 the door. Let's go kill muscles for oil. Like, guess what, little pot? Put your hands to the cup Lean at the waist. There you go. Okay. Step, Step forward. Push it. Hey, come on in here, bitch. He was very non compliant out here uh, while we were trying to search him in. He's highly intoxicated. Pretty much just mad at the world. Uh, we'll leave him in there for a few hours till he calms down and kind of realizes that he needs to get through this process in order to go home. We're 
gonna go check on Scott and see how he's doing. Hey, Scott, you doing okay in here, man? Hey, I was trapped on my front porch. I didn't hurt nobody, I didn't do nothing, and the police beat me up and arrested me, from my children and my wife, and took me to jail. For nothing, I hate America. I hate you cops. I hate you. I hate you, I hate your whole goddamn. I hate Mormons, I hate this country. I hate Utah. I got a serious problem with this society. We'll have the nurses check on you in a little while, Scott. And then when they come around, you know, cooperate with the checks and everything like that, okay, then we'll get the check. Nurses are getting ready to do their medical checks. Scott's still pretty agitated, so we'll see how he's doing. Calm down, calm down. We calm down. All right, put this hand down. Hey Scott, we got to get an evaluation on you, and if you're getting if you're getting agitated like this, we're not gonna get a good evaluation. We're gonna have to stop it, okay? So calm down like you said you would, and we'll get through as quick as we can, okay? I don't think so. I'm pretty angry. I mean, I don't drink and drive. I don't. I got arrested for public again, intox again. on my own property. Let's get these guys. Let's get to the process, okay? And you said you just had a couple beers. I had a couple beers on the front porch. I, okay. The neighbor called the cops, and all I said is, "Hey, thanks, man." But I called the cops, and they arrested me. That's bull. Okay. Just finish it. Finish it real quick. We'll keep an eye on him for a little while, and then uh, see if his behavior improves. Thanks, hey, Scott. He's actually been cleared from the effects of alcohol in his system, uh, but he's still suffering from a little bit of the attitude problems, and he's still a little bit agitated. So we'll keep an eye on him for a little while longer, have our mental health department talk to him, and if his behavior calms down, then we'll uh, look to get him out and get him through the booking process. Sir. Why are you all naked? I don't know. They brought me like this, and I never did anything to him. They deserve that. You got anything on you that's going to poke me, stab me? I don't even have pants on. What do I have? Yeah? I have nothing. I got to check. You can check Face everything. The all my Face orifices the are open for you. Your orifices aren't open for me. Well, if you want to check them, you can. I ain't checking your orifices. Then no, it's, it's irrelevant. Do you have anything in your orifices? Absolutely I need to look not. At? OK. Just <laughs> checking. I got to ask. Absolutely not, sir. All right, you got any piercings anywhere else? Uh, no. OK. They happen to not be in today. All right, have a seat. Yes, sir. Arms over the back of the chair. <laughs> OK. Um. Uncross your legs. Give me your left foot. Dude, don't spread your legs. I'm trying like to figure out which one's left real quick. I'm sorry. Really? <laughs> I have to rub my fingers to find Father, out. can you get this young man some clothes? Small. So that's your only charge, battery on a police officer? I guess that's the vernacular that you guys use for that activity. Okay. Sir, sure. Oh. That's what you say. We admit to nothing. I have that answer. No more questions. They've all been answered. Oh. So whatever. I want to go to trial. Don't come with me with any of your deals. My you can OR me if you want to. That's, that's fine. That's all I have to say. I don't want to talk anymore. I have the right to remain silent. Don't ask any more questions. Okay. I refuse to answer them. Mm -hmm. I wish you the best of luck, sir, and God uh, will uh, appreciate you and your family as well because you're hospitable and nice. I wish you. And I appreciate you the most. I appreciate you. Can I talk? God bless Can, everyone. Did, you've been drinking today? Three beers. Three? OK. What did the officer say about him? Why did he get arrested tonight? I know he got a battery on a police officer. Right. But what was the circumstances what? behind it? They got called to uh, 1096 subject. And when they showed up at the house, he came running out of the house and charged at the officer and grabbed the officer the vest. Oh, really? Yeah, when the officer went to go draw him, um, he backed away and was only wearing a sarong and, like, whipped it off and was doing his little dance. Holy mackerel. <laughs> there you go. Well, why are you doing that? I don't want to look at your junk while you're sitting there. I, I hang up with my head behind me. I'm scared to move because of these people, and I don't know what to do. So you need all you help me help you. And I'll be cooperative hey, to you. Hey, just, relax. Like do. just relax, man. You're fine. Just relax. <laughs> Stand up, boy. Come on over here. Over here. Can I stamp his hand real quick? Yeah. Come yeah. on, Stay still. Oh, whatever. Ashton. I'm sorry. I'll move. You're all right, man. Absolutely apologize, man. 
I really don't try to f with you yeah, right now. Actually, you still, all right? I am holding still. I'm not doing anything to you. I'm sorry. All right, come right over here. Lean all the way back for me. Look up the camera. That's the end of the day. Bring your head back. Bring your head back. Check your head up, all right? Lean back. Check your head. Look at the camera. Put your tongue in your mouth. Don't move. Bam. I give them pictures for taking all day, every day. That's what I do for a living. I make sixteen hundred dollars off the of photo. You want to do it later? I don't want to do it no more. Oh, yeah. Like taking the last picture, hey, I will never. Do it one more time. One more time, I will. I just. Uh, I know how to do it. I do right. it all day. Don't look at the ca look at the camera. Don't move. Work it. Work it. I'm tired of it. This is how I pay my rent. I'm, this is how I pay my rent. Get my picture taken. How would you like it? Come on, come on. Just taking all this time, dude. I want a camera. Let's go. Let's work with the phone. I want to call my lawyer. I, remember, I think I have a right to make a phone call. Yeah. One to my parents or someone. When you're sober, we'll let you make as many as you want, all right? Can I have a shirt, too? Don't get yeah, this shirt and pants over there. Okay, Those are shirts. Yeah, no, that's just a shirt. No, there's a shirt and pants. We got you both. All right, your hand's going to come out. You're going to put it on top of your head, all right? Put your hand on top of your head. Yes, sir. You'll be right there. This is how I pay my rent. Ashton, really? How do you like that? Stay still. Well, I'll stay still as much as I can. Step forward. Stay, stay there. Whatever you want. I'm going He likes to do his little dances and show off, so he's too belligerent to deal with us. Ashton came in. He had an attitude out on the street with the police out there. He came in here. He had a large attitude in here. He, he's very intoxicated. Once he sobers up, we'll get him through the process. After a person gets arrested in Portland, this is where they come. We deal with a lot of people who are intoxicated on uh, alcohol, so anything goes. We don't know what's going to come in through the back door, so there's all sorts of interesting people that come in here. Right over here, sir. Right here, Jeff. Line up here, belly up to the bar. You been drinking? You think? <laughs> well, yeah, I was just making sure. What a silly question. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you got a beer? Uh, no. I want to sing a little bit. You want to hear something? Go for it. Seriously? Can I? Hand on the counter. Please. This guy's been fantastic tonight. Hand on the counter. Keep facing the counter. Okay. You were a great arresting officer. <laughs> Why are you here tonight? Because I was a bad boy. Really? Mm hmm. What, what did a bad boy do? The bad boy had a low for assault and didn't go to court. Uh oh. Well, that's why I'm here. Oh, well. I'm not really a mean person. But the guy I did it to deserved every damn minute of it. I was going to sing a song for you. Well, let's get this all done, and then you can sing, OK? Can I sing? Yeah. yeah. Put your shoes on first. All right. Then we'll have your sign for your property, and then you'll have your debut. You guys are awesome. OK, where's it at here? Where, where, where did you uh, you find Jack? Down here, right here. It was in uh, St. John's behind a church off of Lombard and Fisk, another local transient call. They were arguing. And he was cool, but he had a couple warrants, and we're going to get this taken care of. Off you come. This is for your property. When you get out, out we compare County, these so to make sure that you're the right person. Hold on. That's good. That's good. Fabulous. No, oh, man. Yeah, there you go. Now, you can take it. Right, are you ready? Are you ready? Go ahead. Do your singing. OK, here we go. I went through a jury box, and I found our wedding ring. I put mine on my finger, and I gave yours a fling. Cross this lonely bedroom of a recent broken home. Tonight I'm sitting at home, digging up bones. I'm digging up bones, I'm digging up bones. Exhuming things that's better left alone. I'm resurrecting memories of a love that's dead and gone. Tonight I'm sitting at home, digging up bones. Hey, Jeff, we got to cut it short. I got oh, another guy coming through oh, the door. Oh, crap. Oh, OK, fire. good job, though. Go over here and have a seat. Yeah. Thank you, <laughs> you knock it off. All right. Go sit down. Thank you. Right down here, sir. How did I do? Right here, you did great. Thank you very much. But here's the deal. Look where I'm at. 
Look where I'm at. Because of this? Am I a criminal? I don't think so. My roommate took my wallet, can't find it. And I said, you know what? You're pissing me off. Don't piss me off. So you punched your roommate, and that's why you're here? It's like someone's stealing your underpants, and that's exactly why I'm here. If someone's stealing your underpants, it's a, it's a, it's you feel bad about that? Yeah. Um, but it's an old warrant. It's not, you didn't do that tonight. No, it's a warrant. Okay. Six months ago. Six months ago. You yeah. Did. You still living with them? No, hell no. Okay. In a couple okay. minutes, we'll be okay. taking it through the back. Take care, Jeff. I'm digging up bones. I'm digging up bones. Come on. Come on, Jeff. You too. Yeah. My back is killing me. Head back there, have a seat with the other guys. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> All right, here it goes. You guys ready? You ready for my song? I'm digging up bones. No, just take a seat. Go sit down. I knew you wanted to hear the song, but it's 15 minutes of fame. We're over it. I'll take a happy drunk over an angry drunk every night of the week. I can handle that. So he's, he's a little just... bit entertaining. Yeah. He could be a radio DJ. <sighs> he's got to sober up first. He can do a lot of things, but he's got to sober up first. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, when he gets out of here, he'll take care of himself. He's not a bad guy. He likes his liquor a little too much. I've always been interested in criminal justice. I decided to change my major in college as an undergrad into criminal justice. Every day I come in, you never know what you're gonna get. You can have unexpected behavior pop up, which is, you know, exciting and exhilarating. Um, but then also you can have days too where you talk to people who you feel like you can actually help. So it's a little bit of everything. Come on over here. We're gonna go to this far blue mat over here, okay? Go face this blue mat. Separate your feet. Listen, I do this every okay. weekend. Right. Every weekend? Yes. All right. How much did you drink tonight? I don't know. So you don't know? Six, you eight. can't remember? What were you Don't drinking? put me in a goddamn right, well, old holding cell. You know the procedure? You said you've been here before, so you know if you're drunk, you got to go to the Jesus Christ, about 49 times. Okay. Oh. Stop. Are you going to be uncooperative? No. Then keep your hands down and your elbows away from my partner's face. I don't care if you're drunk. You're gonna get treated like everyone else. The holding cell's not a punishment. It's because you're drunk. Does that make sense to you? Just so you know, he's on probation and doing weekends for battery on an officer. Copy. Step back, have a seat. So if you go a day or so without alcohol, you're not gonna get sick and shaky? Uh, fine, fine. Okay, yeah, fine. Okay, I've been here before, yes. Not before with these chicks. Sir, you get treated like everyone else. Yeah, well, when you I like it better now. When you raise your arms up like that, you Sorry can hit someone that. in the head with your elbow that. while she's going through your pockets, OK? Hey, chick. I'm deputy. Or deputy, I'm sorry. What's a pretty girl like you doing in a uniform anyway? Because it's what I wanted to do for a living? Oh, I like it. I like that. That's good. I'd like to wear a uniform like that, too. You know, I do weekends, so we're, we're like coalescing here. How many weekends did you get sentenced to originally? 90. 90. So you've done quite a few, too. Mm -hmm. Just get me in a cell quick. Can I, you do that? We can try. I can't make any promises, because I don't know how long the process will take. Am I going to have to kill somebody? No. Why would you say Am something like that? Am I going to have to kill somebody? No. Why would you say something like that? So you come here every weekend, and you still have the nerve to put on this routine today? No. Oh, no. Not every weekend. Every other weekend. OK. Hey, you hear that? What? They're just going to add book him, but bring him in as his weekender? OK. Then why are you acting like this? I'm not. I guess that's the end of that discussion, so stand up. Well, then why do you talk to me? Because I'm surprised at your behavior, and I see if I see you two weekends no, from now, No, you just I suspect... had to say something. That's all. OK. okay. Well, you said plenty, so I had something to say. Very chain. Let's do it. Right, come on. Walk. Hello. Is this going to be an every other weekend behavior? Oh, please, give me a break. Was it something petty, like open the container? Well, it could be something vague. OK, are you going to behave? Or do we need to put you on your face? No. I'll OK, separate there. your feet. My feet? Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going to take the cuffs off, and you're going to put them on your head. After we shut the door? Yeah. Take off the pajama pants, put your jeans back on, and hand them through the door. Do you want any food? Yeah. OK, when I get those pajama pants, I'll give you food. Sit down. Yeah. 
He doesn't give me food till he gives us pajama pants. Got it. Let's see if James is ready to come out. Ready? James, can you sit up on the bench? James, can you sit up on the bench for me and bring, put your arms inside your shirt? OK, well, I want to bring you out to get booked. OK, I'll take your jeans and put them in your property. How are you feeling? Are you a little more sober? Yeah. OK, great. Ohio fan? Yes, I am. I see. Did you go there? Been there a couple times. OK. All right, go ahead and join the lobby. Seems fine now. Coming up. OK. Signature. So as of your last weekend, apparently you had, what, 97 days left to do? Yeah. How many days do you do in a weekend? Two. Two? Two on and one off. Did the judge let you do that because you have a job yeah, to I keep? Got, yeah. What do you do? I, I print, put ink on paper. Actually, I have high respect for printers. Really? Yeah. It's well, a good technical trade. Hmm? From now on, I'm going to live up to that. Okay. Well, it is a pretty minor charge. Well, he threw away a joint and nailed me for the beer. So you got off easy? Yeah. Okay. I'll see. All right, grab a seat. He was actually kind of happy he only got open container tonight because he had a joint that was thrown away. He, he knew tonight he might not have gotten anything if he hadn't been so rude to the officer. And then I asked him if he remembered being rude to us when he came in, and he said, yeah. He seems to be a lot more logical now that he's sober. Open up and they leave me outside and they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride. Now the night hits my face and it brings me to life. Oh Lord. Now